What is up guys? Welcome back to Gunner Runner. Today we're doing a little bit of a different video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Riddler and Batman Funko Bobs from the brand new The Batman Movie, which just came out yesterday. I'm actually going to see the movie tomorrow, which is Sunday, and I'm really pumped. So yeah, I thought it would be a good day to do a review of both these pops I picked up in Target yesterday. And yeah, so let's start off with the box, I guess, for uh, the Riddler. Let's first do the Riddler. So as you can see right here, just your average pop box. It says uh, Funko Pop Movies, the Batman number 1192. And then we have a nice picture of the Riddler right there. And it says the Riddler vinyl figure. Then we have all of our warnings on the bottom, barcodes, information on the side. Same thing, number, except it says DC this time. And then the back, we can see all the pops. So we have Batman, Batman 10 inch, which was also there. And then the Batman with the grappler hook, I believe. And then we have Selena Kyle, Oswald, Co Oswald Cobblepot, and the Riddler. And then you can collect them all. Now, uh, this the Batman that I got was the only one I could find at my local Target. I didn't even know they had a Batman. And I just had to look around for a while. And I finally found one. So luckily I did the box. It's a little dinged up, but I don't even put mine in the box. I usually just have them out. So yeah, really cool. I really almost didn't, I almost didn't find the Riddler. But this pop looks so sick. I just like the Riddler's design from this movie is just, it's so awesome. It's just really menacing and really like gritty and realistic and grounded. And I just think it's such a cool design. And yeah, I'm so glad I could pick up the pop. There was actually a McFarlane Riddler there too, but all the Batmans were gone except there. I think there was like a Bruce Wayne. And then there was also the Selena Kyle on the motorcycle for Funko. So yeah, um, and then on this other side, it says pop movies, the Riddler, same thing, number DC. So yeah, let's open this pop up. All right, so now that we have them out of the packaging, we have this uh, same plastic clamp shell that we have to take them out of. And once we get them out of that, we have the Riddler. Now this pop does not really stand up. My bad. Yesterday he was not standing up on his own, but now he does. I guess the legs were probably a little warped from the box. But if you just take a look at the detail on this figure, it is just amazing. Just like everything from the mask to the glasses to the mouthpiece, all the way around to like the back where it looks like he has like a plastic bag or something. But just the detail on this is just, it's so cool. I, I, the but Funko Pops never fail. Even if they're not like everybody's thing, uh, you have to agree like Funko has like a pop of everything and like they never seem to fail on the details, that's for sure. So yeah, he's got his green jacket as well. He's holding duct tape from the uh, infamous scene where in the trailer he duct tapes. Um, up the guy's face and puts a riddle on it um and then yeah so you got the little riddler symbol right there and then he's got some buttons he's got some camo pants looks like and some military boots possibly so yeah very 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 nice figure all right so now let's move on to the batman here let's move him to the side so let's get our camera to focus here. All right, so we have the Batman right here. Same thing, pop movies. The number is 1187. The Batman, Batman on the side, same thing. And then on the back, the exact same thing. And on the side, it just shows Batman this time. So yeah, we've already gone over the packaging. So let's open this guy up. All right, so again, he's in his plastic clamshell which you got to take him out of none of these figures come with a stand keep that in mind if you're gonna hope to like put them on like one of the plastic stands they sometimes come with you're probably gonna have to buy your own so yeah here's batman really again really nice figure greatly detailed from the stitching on his mask to his um his wrists here his gauntlets with the i don't know what these are um yeah i just don't really know what these are yet I still need to see the movie, so I don't know exactly what these are, but then you have his utility belt down here. And then, of course, the bat symbol, if I can zoom in here. You can see the bat symbol there. It looks really cool. I really like the Robert Pattinson bat symbol. It's really nice. And then he's got this orange on the edge of his boots, and he's got the nice pants. Just a really nice looking figure. More stitchy on the back of the mask, and then he's got his cape. Just looks really nice. So yeah, these this is the Batman and the Riddler Funko Pops. 
These are definitely some of the better Funko Pops I I have owned. I definitely, um, I definitely recommend to buy these. You could probably find them at your local Target. If not, order them offline. They're only like eleven ninety nine. And yeah, guys, so that was the review of the Funko Pop movies, The Riddler and The Batman from the brand new Batman 2022 movie. I will see you all guys next time on Gun Runner. Peace.